Hey guys, finally he sleeps here. Carnival was released today at Reset, and I, there's a lot of people that are struggling with some of the skill games. Uh, the, you have to get three stars on all five skill games every day in order to get your daily mask bonus. Those are needed for 14 of the 15 days to be able to grab a 98 rated player free to play. So the skill games are pretty important. If there's any of them that are giving you us problems, and I haven't done a video on them already, I'll try to put a video on how to three-star them out over the course of the Carnival event. If you're stuck on any of the other skill games, the older ones, check back in uh, the Freeze event. Uh, there's I posted videos there as well. I may end up duplicating them over to the playlist here for Carnival, just so we have them, like Defending Onslaught and any of the stuff that we start to see again. Today, though, it's the Fiesta. So we're going to take a look at it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Turn on notifications here. That way you don't miss when any of these videos go live. Uh, finally, sleeps.com for all things FIFA Mobile. And follow along on Twitch. All right, let's get into it. This event, the Carnival Fiesta, is a big field of training dummies that have, like, airbags under them or the ADHD. I don't know. They're all bouncing around. If you touch one of those, you're going to lose possession of the ball. Um, the red, like, I don't know, it looks like infection swatches that are pulling out because apparently there's a pandemic in FIFA Mobile 2. Those get larger. They take 500 points away when you get near them. You want to avoid those. What you're looking for are the dead zones. The corners of the field are dead zones. And in the very center of the field is a dead zone as well. So as the red swatches start to get larger and the zombie pandemic is growing, uh, that's where you want to be to get out of the point range. Once you get your three stars, just stay in a corner, stay in the center, somewhere so that you can avoid it and let the time run out. So now there is another key note to this that I don't know if you've noticed or not, but once you claim a mask, there is a little yellow arrow that points you in the direction of the next mask. So we're going to watch this again. You can see how the arrow is pointing at like the top right corner to let us know to go up towards the first mask. Once you get on that mask and claim it, now it's directing you to the next mask. You know which direction you need to be moving in. So we go back towards the middle and now we're going to the bottom left. There are only so many spots for these masks. You have the middle and the corners. That's it. So you're just trying to get around the middle and the corners. Another tip on this thing is if you have one player who is better at dribbling or working your way around, put him in the position of the player being used. So like right now, um, I think it's my left wing that is being used for this event. So I could put... Team of the Year, Ronaldo in left wing if I prefer to use him for his dribbling to get me to that three-star range. So that is the Siesta skill game in Carnival. If any more show up, again, I'll put another video out for how to three-star whatever these skill games are. Find Follow along at FinallySleeps.com. Make sure you like, subscribe here. Check out the Discord servers there as well. The first one is the Footmobile Twitch server. This is mine and FIFA Rubens. And then the other one, discordapp.com, invite FM. That is the big foot mobile Reddit server. Make sure you're involved there. There's a lot of community chat. You'll get event mass and you know, updates when people go live on stream and more. There's a lot of communication and it gives you a chance to talk to everybody else who's playing the game. All right. Thanks a lot for following along. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.